but how are we looking out there? Yeah, Kristen, we're looking pretty good. You know, speaking of the exercise, today would not be a bad day to maybe take that afternoon jog outside during the heat of the day because you could get by with that. Temperatures here at noon are in the lower 80s. We're at 84 in downtown Birmingham with a dew point of 65 and that wind coming in out of the east northeast at 13 miles per hour means that it feels not too bad out there for the middle of June in central Alabama. Radar is pretty quiet except for a couple of very light sprinkles that might be reaching the ground here in southern parts of Green and Hale counties, but otherwise the rest of us are doing pretty well here at the noon hour. Temperatures in the mid 80s. We're at 81 in Coleman, 87 for our friends in Fayette, and then 83 in Hamilton. Now going into the dew points, that's really that measure of moisture. Notice that we are a little bit more muggy than yesterday at this time, but still overall we're in that muggy to almost very muggy category. It could still be much worse. We know that last weekend these dew points were in the lower 70s and it felt very oppressive and we're going to see a return to that here before too long. So highs today are going to be flirting with around 90 degrees here for Alabaster and Birmingham as well for Talladega, 88 for Asheville and 90 for Gadsden. So pretty much all of us right there around that 90 degree mark and notice comparing it to our average high of 89. We're pretty close to average for this time of the year. Now if you're heading down to the beach in the next couple of days, there is a chance for a few isolated storms for at least tomorrow. But temperatures looking pretty good here in the upper half of the 80s with some of that more gusty wind coming in off of the sea there and we do have a high risk for the rip current going into Friday and then moving into a moderate as we go into Saturday. But flying those double red flags means that you definitely want to uh, take those precautions before trying to venture out and do anything at all. Best thing is to just stay on the beach. And really a lot of that rough surf is due to now Tropical Storm Alberto that was named earlier this morning by the National Hurricane Center. And it is going to be coming on shore here in eastern Mexico as a tropical storm with 45 mile per hour sustained winds there by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Morning, and then as it begins to traverse further inland, they're significantly weakening as it starts to collide with some of that terrain. Tropical storm warnings are lined up along the Gulf Coast, mainly along the Texas Gulf Coast from Brownsville to Corpus Christi, back towards Houston and just off the coast here of Louisiana as well. But of course, not posing any kind of threat for us here in coastal parts of Alabama and certainly not in central Alabama either. Now the rainfall is really the big takeaway from this system. Seven to 10 inches of rain can be found in pockets here from south central to southern portions of Texas. And of course, that gradient really sharp here going towards Houston, back over towards Austin, Texas, and quickly dwindling down to really just about an inch or two of rain. So quite a bit of rain for even that part of the country, but they are prepared for it and they are going to be just fine over the next few days after we can get past some of that rough storm surge. Here back at home, we're expecting just partly cloudy skies throughout the rest of this afternoon. Temperatures, like I mentioned earlier, getting close to 90 degrees, but that's where we're going to top out for a high this afternoon. And it is going to be very nice weather if you're heading out to the celebrity softball game there at the Barnstorm in Birmingham. First pitch of 86 degrees and then falling down to 80 degrees by around the concert. And a look at that seven day forecast shows we're in the lower 90s through this weekend before a return to the higher 90s and a lot of humidity as well. New at noon, the